awkward. I feel like... I feel like that's a conversation that maybe shouldn't have been recorded. <laughs> Howdy, my name is Good Guy Mike, welcome to my YouTube channel, welcome back to more Subnautica! So, today, we just chillin'. Baby, we just chillin' with the Sea Queen, or Sea Emperor, or Sea Empress. I don't know, they don't have genders on this planet, it's sort of weird. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I greatly appreciate it because pretty much as I do. If you do, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and welcome. Oh my goodness, I think my cat wants out. Hold on one second, guys. All right, and we're back. So, uh, yes, yesterday we did all sorts of cool stuff. We unlocked the eggs and all the little sea thingies went free. And now today we're gonna go and we're gonna go through this portal and hopefully get cured of the Kara virus. So let's go ahead and remove our, or let's keep the suit on, but let's remove our gloves. That should allow us to see our hands. Let's see, we don't have any, we don't really have any, uh, disease on us. Let's go ahead and scan ourselves real quick. Cool! Alright, so, telling us all sorts of stuff about finding ways to neutralize the infection. Which, optimistically, the Sea Empress, who's the thing that we just, you know, spent ages setting free, will be able to cure us, that we can go onto the gun, turn off the, uh, turn off the gun, and then go into the Aurora and get the... To the directions on how to build the rocket ship and then fly away from the planet and be done with it forever All right guys, this always takes a little bit. So I will bring you back in just a sec All right, and we're back. Look at that. Oh my goodness guys. Okay, and now I think that we hit one of these blob things We just like rub it all over our face and Then uh, I think that that should oh my goodness look how gross and gnarled my hand looks. Oh Oh disgusting Oh, get it off me. Wow, that car virus is doing weird stuff. So now that I'm cured, I think that I can not have to worry about the warpers anymore, which is pretty freaking awesome. Also, can I collect that? Look at that! Optimal health! Oh my goodness, guys, we did it! We beat Subnautica! Alright, guys, thank you so much for sending some time with me. Greatly appreciate- no, just joking. Um, that's, uh, that is merely step one. Step two is we need to turn this off. We never saw the sunbeam get blown out of the sky, so I'm just gonna pretend that the sunbeam didn't get blown out of the sky. You know, easy peasy. Um, and then, uh, so we need to run in here, turn off this, the gun, and then we go to the Aurora, and, uh, go back into the Aurora, and go on, up. Um, okay, so guys, we still got we still got lots to do. Also, I like how my shadow is just floating. That's hilarious. Because that's, you know, like, I'm standing on the floor, so the floor apparently is not casting a shadow. Very interesting. Um, okay, anyways, I'm, I'm rambling because I'm trying to waste time, and I'm also trying to cover for the fact that I'm mad pumped, guys. I'm mad excited. Uh, you guys may not... Believe it, but I'm gonna actually beat the Subnautica um, expansion. I think I keep mentioning this, but it, it does it, it kills me a little bit that the the, uh, the expansion is coming out, and uh, yeah, I I won't be uploading this final video before the um, the expansion comes out. But that's okay. Look it, now we can interact. It's gonna tell me I'm cured. It's gonna tell me I'm a healthy boy. That I'm the healthiest boy to come and press that button in ages now. Come on, it needs to stab me. Just hold still. Take it like a man. All right. Ow. Ooh, that. Ooh, ouch. Punch the butt. Ooh, ouch. That hurt too. That's good, right? Oh. Like, turn off the power. That's good. That's what we wanted. The entire facility just went to bed. Oh. Oh. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But, that does not sound like a super cool thing. <laughs> that sounds like, uh, sounds like a, sounds like a nasty beast that wants to, you know, consume my body, dance on my grave, all that sort of horrible stuff. We'll see, ooh, Lagosaurus! It's probably a Lagosaurus coming to attack my, uh, attack my save file and corrupt it so that I can't upload and prove that I actually beat the Subnautica game. That sounds like something that one of the nasty beasties would do. Alright, so... Back into the water. 
Hopefully there's not a sea wench just waiting out there for its moment to dine and shine and consume good guy Mike flesh. Uh, so next we fly over to the Aurora because I am not one for waiting around. Look at that! There's a warper! I wonder if I can hit him with my vehicle. Hey, you! Oh, I can't. There's no horn on this. Dang it. Hey, what's up, loser? <laughs> ah, goodness. Galloway! Okay, um, where am I going? Hold on. Okay, to the left! Sorry, I just need to get my bearings and make sure that I saw where the, uh, the Aurora was. I know it's sort of hard to miss, but, you know, c'est la vie. Okay, so, we are, like, 98% of the way done. Um, we have, a uh, we have, like, a big collection frenzy that's gonna have to happen. Um, but that's, like... That's really the the only next big step is that uh, we need to get like a crazy stupid amount of resources, but all the like the obscure resources I think that we already have. Um, the the deep sea shrooms are one that I need, but luckily some of you guys in the comment section told me that I need to collect the deep sea shrooms, so like we already did it. Uh, and then um, I think that I think that we need some more crack tonight, so we may have to we'll we'll have to go back into the area to get the crack tonight. That's not too tough. I think I might actually have some on the Cyclops, so I might not even have to go that far. I do need some nickel, so I'll need to like fly around the, the area a little bit, but the, none of that is like crazy tough to do. Um, we might honestly, we might honestly just uh, make it into a little, um, like a montage. Well, not really like a montage, but you know, I might just jump around to the different areas to be collecting it and then we might get off the planet in the next episode. I know, I know, you guys are gasping for for air and unbelief. It's hard to believe that we actually are gonna make it. I, uh, I know that a lot of you guys didn't believe in me. <laughs> and I gotta tell you perfectly honestly, I, I didn't really believe in myself either. But you know what? It just shows that, uh, you know, with, uh, with the help of the good guys, and enough free time and patience, uh, anybody can beat Subnautica, apparently, because good guy Mike did it. Um, alright, so, we're back at the Aurora, we've looted everything that we wanted to loot, now we need to go and get to the black box of the Captain's Chamber, which, uh, we got the, the code to the Captain's Chamber, it's like 20, 26, or something like that, uh, we got the code for the, the Captain's Chamber off of a radio plug, which, is hilarious because I thought that I had to go to like a special life pod, but guess not. Guess not. Um, which would make sense, right? Like the captain um, d goes down with the ship. That's the whole the whole point, right? Like that's the old adage. So of course the captain wasn't in one of the life pods. He was probably smoking his big old you know captain's pipe up until the last ooh, hot. Okay, up until the last second, you know, um, tutting as the uh, the ship went down. You know, like uh, what British people do, or like. T -t -t what a day, what a day, you know, one of those things. I I don't know if the captain's British, but one of the people on the ship was Irish. So, uh, I assume that, you know, they probably had a, a if we're gonna hit all the, you know, weird vocal, um, uh, accents. You know, and apparently they only speak English in the future, so only the English accents are on the table, so. Um, okay, let's go ahead, we need to go through here, and then I think... Hopefully one of the little things don't grab my arm, but I think that it's right over in this area, right? Did I miss a PDA over here? No, okay. I looked like I missed a PDA for a hot second. I wanted to make sure that I didn't. Alright, um, oh, that's right, we're gonna have to brave the fire. Luckily, um, luckily good guy Mike, uh, brought a fire extinguisher. It doesn't have a whole lot of fire extinguisher left in it, but it's gonna have to do the, it's gonna have to do the job. All right, guys, we just, you guys are just gonna have to learn to deal with uh, getting our bodies burnt to a crisp. You know, the normal stuff. Um, all right, and then the captain's quarters was right, was right, no? It was right over here, I thought. Was this not the captain's quarters? Cabin five? Oh, right, the captain's quarters was near the electrical shocky things. Um, yeah, no fire extinguishers for that, huh? All right. Ooh, okay. Boy, what is would that be a terrible, stupid place to die? Okay. Captain's quarters. What does the PDA say again? Um, not voice log, data banks, uh, data downloads, codes and clues, life pod transmission, life pod transmission, 
Um, hi, Captain's Quarters. There we go. Before the lo before they lost communication, Altera HQ uploaded a set of blueprints to the Aurora's main computer. This is a high security terminal inside the Captain's Quarters, located behind the Prawn Bay, which is, uh, for which the blueprints should be accessible. The code is two six seventy nine. Two six seventy nine. I wonder what the significance of that is. By the way, I. You know that has some sort of significance um, to the uh, the guys at Unknown Realms. Oh my goodness, look at We got the Aurora poster! Oh, limited edition, uh, collector's edition Aurora poster! That's so cool, okay. Aha! Here we get to listen to the captain's log, or get to see the captain's log. Okay. Uh, loading program, Craig McGill Simulator Vrat. Size 1 player, Captain Hot Dog Holler, uh, Hollister? Matt Boreal 9, resources normal. You are exploring a quiet alien backwater when your sh oh when the ship you arrived here in explodes or implodes. It must be the arachnid kidney poachers. Quick, what will you do? Search the crash site, farm alien plants, use D imploder unavailable. Uh, that's just what Craig McGill would do. So this is his little uh, his <laughs> his little game. So the captain's log is a game log. How great. Um, okay. Oh, look, we got a little miniature Aurora, too. Okay, cool, guys. We got all sorts of cool stuff. Data download. Look at this. New Last video recorded data. transmission, and then we got unlocked the, the Neptune uh, escape rocket. Average long-range transmission delay, eight hours. Opening last recorded transmissions. This is an emergency distress call. Aurora is on collision course with planet 4546B. Sending all available environmental data, please respond with rescue solution out. This is Altera HQ. Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship that we calculate will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest phase gate. Now, it's designed to use materials you can find and sit you, but it's gonna need one hell of a power source. Now, we'll be sure to... Aurora long-range communications really offline. Hmm. Integrating new PDA data. We just found another PDA. Check that out. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? to zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you, and I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. Awkward. I feel like... I feel like that's a conversation that maybe shouldn't have been recorded. <laughs> maybe that's just judgmental of me, but I feel like that was a personal conversation that had no business with good guy Mike, like, eavesdropping in, being like, the third wheel on that whole awkward breakup situation. Boy, the, the future is wild, guys, if that's what we have to look forward to. <laughs> uh, well, that's good. Nobody will ever get their feelings hurt because calling it a, you know, a business relationship instead of a, you know, a, an actual relationship, that's going to make everybody feel better, right? Also, there's a door up there. Can we actually get in that door or is this like another one of the fake doors from earlier? Mmm, that looks like a fake door. That definitely looks like a doesn't open door. You guys saw that, right? I'm not just going nuts. I know that, hold on, I know that we're wasting time and you guys are banging your face on the keyboard telling me good guy Mike please just focus on the task at hand but it didn't it look like there was a, a well now we can't see anything because there's all that smoke falling am I just going nuts yeah I'm just going nuts never mind ignore me there might be a door up there but it, it cer certainly doesn't look like it's something that's actually accessible maybe it's an Easter egg or something like that but I don't know no there there very well might be a door up there but there's certainly no way to access that without putting in like some sort of command sheet which we don't want to do 
We don't want to do that because then we won't get all these sick chief gets. And we're, we almost got all the sick chief gets so far. We want, it would be, it'd be quitting early to quit out on the sick chief gets at this point. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in the, uh, the, the sea moth. And then we will go ahead and take a peek at what we have to get to make our, uh, to make the uh, the escape rocket, huh? Uh, blueprints. All right. So, where is it at? Where is it? A Neptune launch platform. Two titanium ingot, a computer chip, and four lead. That's not terrible. Um, and then we have to build the the rest of the pieces to it, right? It's like another four pieces, maybe. I thought. Oh, we never unlocked the nuclear reactor. What a shame. How are you supposed to enrich uranium? Okay, um, I'm not seeing it, guys, which is crazy. Um, did I just shoot past it? Huh, okay. Uh, well, I mean, good news is that the, uh, the, at least that first part's not terrible to make, right? Uh, two titanium ingots, a uh, computer chip, some lead. Um, we are pretty low on all of our, like, resources because we left so much of them on the Cyclops. But, um, we should have a decent amount of those back at the, uh, the escape pod. So, um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I greatly appreciate it. Hopefully, next episode is the, uh, is the, the last episode. That's so weird to say. But the last episode of normal Subnautica until they add more stuff before we come back to like do a super base build or something like that or if you guys have some special requests that you want to see that we didn't get around to this time uh, any of that sort of stuff but anyways guys thank you so much for sending us some time with me today I greatly appreciate you guys pretty much that I do if you do hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and welcome you guys keep being good guys and I will see you in the next one take it easy bye bye